as each and every question paper those who want to do good they have to sleep properly if you are not giving total rest to your brain then your brain will be not able to work so that is the first thing by 10 pm you should go to sleep whatever you have learned just close it and uh, from 9 am close everything all the gadgets all the gadgets 9 pm only close everything by 9 pm you should close switch off your mobile you should switch off your laptop and all the screening time should be off last one hour maybe you can do some revision from your notebook or you can just close your eyes and do mind mapping in your mind and you can play some soft music through which your mind will be cooled down and just go to sleep whenever you are going to exam hall comprehension type questions are coming this year also i take it i took got the feedback from the other students those who already attempted in 21st and 22nd comprehension type questions are also coming so that is in 140 to 150 this question will be there in 140 to 150 means in paper 2 last that is 90 to 100 number questions of paper 2 so definitely check the comprehension type question which are there 20 marks you are getting from here this is very much valuable marks don't miss those question check it once it is my known area or not if it is your known area then definitely solve it quickly whenever you are starting exam then i should start with paper one on paper two some questions are coming from here i am telling you that you should start with your comfortable area if you are comfort in paper 2 if you think that paper 2 i am able to do good i am able to score good i am confident enough in paper 2 then definitely start with paper 2 if you think that no paper 1 i am confident then start with paper 1 now should i complete paper 2 then go jump to paper 1 or i should complete paper 1 then jump to paper 2 not at all no nothing rule is there in first two hours you should complete your paper one paper two both where all the easy quickly solvable question don't touch any types of mathematics question di question little bit complex type of question although you are capable to solve but it is my suggestion don't touch it in first at least first one hour don't touch it first one hour completely focus on theory questions statement questions sequence question matching questions solve those questions in first two hours that is my suggestion after that come back to those questions where you will do mark for review at the time of doing those type of question you will see where are the math what are the question when you feel that this question i can do it but it is little bit time consuming do mark it don't leave it blank mark it with some lucky number or something you're guessing mark it and do save and mark for review don't leave any question blank because there is no negative marking so that's why you should not leave any question blank save and mark for review do save and mark for review then go for the next question after that come back to those save and mark for review question and solve it if you see that some question you are not able to do you don't know that concept don't panic just mark your lucky number and go for the next question don't waste your time for those questions and don't start doing panic always remember out of 150 question <coughs> if you are able to solve 100 question also correctly then 200 marks is yours that is also more than enough to get a good result so if you are not able to solve 50 question also that is also okay but i am not telling you 50 question you should leave it just do guessing do elimination if you are able to do if you are not able to do elimination also then mark your lucky number between b and c normally b and c are most probable so lucky number b and c you can do it like that way attempt your exam be careful about your <coughs> reading question properly not incorrect 
not correct false these are the keyword trap so read question properly at the time of marking the question be careful yes i am marking the correct option or not because multiple choice are coming answer is coming to you are marking to don't do like that check proper answer and mark the proper answer this is very very important if you are not doing this this if you are not following this then you will do mistake okay so these are all about your exam tips your exam will be good if you are settled down enough in it, in your exam hall settle down yourself cool down yourself without stress stressless exam will give you good result if you are taking too much stress if you are taking anxiety then it will be bad don't panic if the ex maybe some system is not working or something don't start shouting just take your time tell them because you will waste your time you will waste your energy don't do that hope for the best your exam will be good and uh, last but not least after attending exam definitely let me know in in my whatsapp number 8697365460 how was your exam what are the question came and definitely it is a request to everyone after getting result please let me know yes this is my result ma'am i will wait for your result please let me know your result it is a request to everyone thank you thank you so much best of luck best wishes for you you can do it just believe yourself and believe the supreme power hard work you did you did you compromised you sacrifice your everything will paid off definitely will get paid for that believe yourself okay thank you bye see you again tomorrow after your exam for exam analysis i will come for exam analysis bye